Okay, so I just got my FabFitFun box for spring 2021 in the mail, and I have been playing around with some of the things, and oh my gosh, I have already discovered some new favorites, so I wanna share that with you guys. I did wanna take a second to thank FabFitFun for sponsoring this video. I'm continuing my long-term partnership with them. I'm so excited about that. If you've never heard of FabFitFun, it is a seasonal subscription box that's full of full-size beauty, lifestyle, fashion, and fitness goodies. I always treat this as a self-care gift to myself. I just feel like it's such a source of joy for me. I'm someone that loves the seasons, and so anything that celebrates the seasons and kind of the vibe of each season, like spring, summer, fall, and winter, I just love, and that is one of the reasons I love FabFitFun so much, and I've loved it for years. So I wanna do this video a little bit differently. I wanna try these out with you guys and show you how I would style them, how I would use them, etc. so that's what we're gonna do. Let me know if you enjoy this format of video by giving this video a thumbs up. Comment below what is your favorite item, maybe something that you're excited to get in your own box. So one of the things I absolutely love about FabFitFun is how customizable it is. You get to pick quite a few of the items that you're going to get in your box that season, and then a few of the items are curated for you from a FabFitFun stylist. This may be my favorite box I've gotten yet because so many of these items are so cute and useful to me and something that brings me joy. So let's dive into what I got this time around. So here is my box for spring. It is super cute. One of the things I really appreciate about FabFitFun as a company is that they have a lighter carbon footprint. They use 100% recycled craft box and paper, which I think is so, so cool. So looking at everything, this is the first thing I want to try out. All right. Oh my gosh. These are so soft. <laughs> they felt soft like in my hands, but like actually putting them on, they're so cushy. Like I feel like I'm walking on a cloud right now. I just feel like these kinds of slippers are so trendy and I've seen them everywhere. I've wanted to buy them, but I haven't. So when I saw this as an option on FabFitFun for this box, I jumped at it. So not only are they super cute, but they're also super comfy and cozy. So these will get a lot of use in my day-to-day -day life. Okay, look at these adorable hair clips. They're a little bit shorter than a lot of the ones I wear, which actually might be nice because I find that with longer clips, they'll catch in the back of my hair a little bit oddly. So I'm excited to try this length and how adorable are these for spring are you kidding me these are so cute so let's give them a try oh my gosh it's so cute i am a big big fan of hair clips like deeply in love i wear them almost every single day so i feel like you could wear them both if you wanted especially if you have like a middle part but also you could just do one on the side and that's really cute too, especially if you did more of a side part and just kind of clipped it. But these are giving me such spring vibes, which is great because as I look out the window right now, there is a blanket of snow on everything. I just feel like I need this like hopeful push into the early parts of spring very, very soon. So this, oh my gosh, I love it so much. Oh, that was no joke. It is literally so snowy outside right now. And my sweet Pinocchio boy here. Hi, Noki. So another thing I got is a three pack of these Say beauty rounds. They're reusable. They're super soft. So there are a few ways you can use these. You can use these to remove makeup. This morning what I did was I got it wet and got some of my face wash on it and I used it to gently cleanse my face. It felt so good. It definitely helped get my skin clean without being super abrasive, which I really appreciated. And another thing that's cool about these is that you can tosh them in the washer and reuse them over and over again. The way that I would wash something like this is to throw it like in a little mesh zipper laundry bag. I usually do it on gentle cycle and then I'll let them air dry and they'll come out good as new So the next thing in there I was super excited about are these Bloomingville little woven coasters I'm so excited to use these at my desk. So I've got them here. I love that there's a couple different designs I love how well this goes with a lot of the stuff I have in my desk area and I am always drinking something hot like coffee or tea A lot of times when I'm drinking something cold like a sparkling water the condensation will get on my desk So it's nice to have something to protect it and these are so cute and I feel like like they make a cute little stack even as decoration in my desk area. So one of the things I'm the most excited about is this Alice and Olivia 
duffel bag. This is such an expensive, nice brand. I've owned a few things from this brand and they've all been really well made. This one feels really sturdy, but it also feels like it'll clean really easily. And I love the size. It could be like a weekender bag, but it also could just be something to tote things around, like as a diaper bag, or if you have multiple kids, or you just find that you carry a lot of stuff around with you. This is the perfect size. It has shoulder straps, which is probably how I'll use it, but it also has a crossbody strap that's adjustable. And talking about cute stuff for spring, I love the little like white daisy patterns all over it. I think that is so cute. So another thing in the box was this Summer and Rose tweezer. I love that it comes with a really cute like beige case for it because you know what? These bad boys are a little bit sharp and they can poke through. I've had one poke through a makeup bag I had and cut a hole in it. So it's nice to have it kind of protected. I think this is so pretty if you like to carry one around in your purse maybe, or just in your makeup bag. I feel like every day I'm needing tweezers for something. So it's nice to have a brand spanking new one that has such a cute design on it. Cause the other one I have is just like plain. Okay, another thing I tried this morning and I loved it is these SF Suns Out Pouts Out Gold Foil Lip Masks. I don't know that I've ever done a lip mask. And so I'll show you what it looks like when you have it on. You're supposed to keep it on for 10 to 15 minutes my one piece of advice for you would be make sure you keep your mouth shut because otherwise you might get a little bit in your mouth but my lips were so soft after I used these I couldn't believe it so when I have the time to do these this is totally a pamper item but it's something that I never treat my lips to something like that and so I think they were thanking me for it this morning so I'm excited to have some of these for those days or nights when I'm having a little bit of me time a little bit of a pampering time so there we go all right these next ones I brought you into my bathroom because I wanted to try them in my hair. These gorgeous silk hair scarves. So I wanted to try this pink one just to see. There's so many different ways you can use a head scarf. So one of the ways that I've worn them in the past is just by tying it up like a headband. And I just think it can be so cute. You can really coordinate it with your outfit if you wanted to. There's something so classic to me about a little headscarf tied like this. So this is definitely the way I would probably wear it more often than not. But you could of course turn it and then have the bow on the bottom so it looks more like a headband, but it's holding your hair out of the way, but it's cute. I've also seen people like French braid their hair into a silk scarf, which is beautiful. I wish I were that talented to be able to do that, but I absolutely, I struggle to French braid my hair at all, let alone intertwining a scarf with it. It's not gonna happen. But I've also seen people put their hair up in a messy bun and then have this going around that same way whether you have the bow going up or going on the bottom so I just feel like they're so versatile and they're really trendy right now and these are so soft so another thing FabFitFun started doing literally this spring is something that they're calling the FabFitFun standard and it's a list of 12 ingredients that they are promising to never include in any of the products that they curate for the FabFitFun boxes and more bonus points because they donate so much to charity so this spring's charity partner is called one tree planted and for every dollar that's donated one tree is planted I think that is so important considering what's going on with our earth and our climate right now and I think that's a perfect charity for them to partner with so that makes me happy and makes me feel good about supporting a brand like this so yeah if you are interested in checking out FabFitFun for yourself I do have a $10 off promo code it is jam beauty I'll have the promo code and a link to check out FabFitFun right at the top of my description box down below I am digging this like a lot I don't know how well it goes with this shirt but I don't know I'm kind of feeling those spring vibes you know so thank you again FabFitFun for sponsoring this video I hope that you guys enjoyed it and like I said if you enjoyed the format of this unboxing better than the way I used to do it please let me know by giving it a thumbs up so then when it comes to summertime I'll know that you'd want to see it this way again and I will see you guys in my next video thanks for watching to the end bye